Lesson 7. Position of the lips and teeth. Hold the clarineo as in lesson 6 and curl your lower lip over your teeth. Not too far, just enough to cover your teeth. Put your lip about halfway down the reed and your teeth on top of the mouthpiece. Remember, teeth on top, lip underneath. Close your lips around the mouthpiece and breathe gently through the clarineo. Don't try to make a sound just yet. If a note comes, all well and good, but listen to your breath going through the instrument. Keep your lips fairly loose for now, but tight enough to prevent air from leaking around the sides. Lesson 8. Your first note. Breathe through the clarineo as you did before, but this time more deeply, and gradually tighten your lips and you'll feel a resistance to the air going through. So push a bit harder to compensate. You should now be getting a note. The sound may disappear quickly, but don't worry, do the same again. Breathe through the clarineo and slowly tighten your lips while keeping up the pressure. As soon as the note arrives, try holding on to it. It is the note G. If a note doesn't come, experiment with different positions of the lips and teeth. And also check that the reed isn't damaged and is level with the top of the mouthpiece. Lesson 9. Cleaning and putting away. Watch Rhiannon's actions carefully. First, remove the reed and then the mouthpiece. Turn the clarineo upside down and drop the chain through the bell. Now pull the cloth through. Next wipe the reed on the back of your hand to get rid of any excess moisture and wipe the mouthpiece dry with the pull through. Attach the little plug and replace the reed and ligature. And put the mouthpiece cap carefully over the mouthpiece. Put the mouthpiece away in the case and remove the bell by carefully twisting anti-clockwise. And put the body and bell in the case. Finally, don't forget to close the zip. 